Thanks for staying with us. I'm Juan Williams, in for Bill O'Reilly. And in the Unresolved Problems segment tonight, an update on the story in Worcester County, Massachusetts, where the illegal immigrant Nicholas Guman, who has been charged with vehicular homicide for allegedly hitting, dragging, and eventually killing 23-year-old Matthew Denise. Mr. Denise's parents are heartbroken. I'm just consumed, consumed with heartbreak. <laughs> It, it, it's sadness now and, and, and the anger of, you know, how, this, how, many, how many different ways this could have all been prevented. Matthew was the light of my life and he brought so much happiness to all his friends. The Democratic governor of that state, Deval Patrick, is sympathetic to the plight of illegal immigrants. He refuses to participate in the federal secure communities program, which would make it easier to get rid of criminal illegals. Joining us now from Boston, Lou Evangelidis, the Worcester County Sheriff, who's not happy with the governor. So, Sheriff, what's your problem with the governor? Well, the governor hasn't been willing to join the Secure Communities Act, one, and uh, I have the ability to do it, and I'm ready to go. Well, he has the ability to do it, but so does Worcester County. You don't have to wait on him. That's what we announced today, Juan. In light of this absolute terrible tragedy at the hands of a criminal alien, uh, I'm taking it upon myself after lengthy conversations this week with the people from immigration and ICE that we can move forward with secure communities in Worcester County, and that's precisely what I did today. But what I'm saying is, why didn't you do it before? Because you've been critical of the governor for not having the entire state sign up, but why didn't Worcester County set the example for the state? You know, Juan, we have been we're in the process of doing that, but what happened when we had this terrible tragedy in Milford over the weekend, that defendant that killed this, this gentleman and moved, to, moved uh, from Massachusetts, came into my possession at the jail in Worcester County. At that point, I decided I had enough. I was going to do everything in my power to join secure communities so a tragedy like this would never happen again. Now, Sheriff Evangelitis, this is an interesting story, and the reason that I really wanted to focus on it, the reason that Bill O'Reilly has been dead set on this story, is that this man could have been off the street, ideally. But, of course, the program wasn't in place when the first crime that he committed uh, happened way back in the fall of... Uh, the crime was in, I guess, the spring, February of 08 or so. The Secure Communities program wasn't in place until the fall of 08. But the governor nonetheless says that it's bad policy. Now, here's his argument, Sheriff. His argument is that people with similar names can get caught up in this system, that it's suddenly you'll have a dragnet and it's just dragging a bunch of people in. It's going to preoccupy law enforcement. Do you agree? Do you buy these arguments? Not at all, Juan. As a matter of fact, I just think that's just more doublespeak from a governor who doesn't want to protect the people of Massachusetts uh, as I do and many people in law enforcement do. So I don't buy that for a minute. I think this is a great program. This program will allow us to communicate directly with Homeland Security and immigration to find out the immigration of status of any individual that comes into the criminal justice system. And I can't imagine a reason that we would not want that information immediately. Now, is it the case, again, that these are the arguments coming from the governor, Deval Patrick, is it the case that you fear that immigrants in your community might then turn against you and say, you know what, we don't want to participate, we don't want to, want to cooperate with you, Sheriff, because we feel like you're just going after us, and therefore it would actually hurt, hurt law enforcement in Worcester County. No, one, I've heard these arguments before, but I don't believe them. I believe, first of all, there's a lot of people in the immigrant community. We're not going to be bringing them into the secure community program. If they want to co co uh, cooperate with law enforcement officials, they have every right to do it. It's not going to set a chilling effect. As a matter of fact, it's going to make all the law-abiding citizens safer, and they're going to want to co cooperate with us as well. Now, tell me a little bit about the family and this whole situation. Now, you heard the mother saying, you know, that that young man was the light of her life. Do you, when you're speaking to her, do you say, I'm going to do this for Matthew Dennis, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to put this program in place and it won't happen again? Can you promise her that? No, of course not, Juan. But what I can do is promise the people of Worcester County that I represent in central Massachusetts. You know, I took an oath, Juan, and that was to protect the people and make sure public safety was number one. And I fell under the circumstances that I have to talk to the family of this terrible tragedy to the victim's family and tell them that I'm going to do everything in my power so this won't happen again. We can't assure 
people, it'll never happen again. But we want to make sure in law enforcement, we're using every tool available to us. And that's what I started today. I'm going to utilize every tool available. One of the best tools available is secure communities. Stay on it, Sheriff. We so much appreciate your coming in. Appreciate the fact that you're standing tall. Thank you. In a Thank moment, you, Juan. New, York, it. New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg refusing to allow people of faith to speak at the upcoming 10-year anniversary.